Hello there. The one and only Xylophony here to do a little d -d 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 tooling. A little bit of testing, a little bit of training, a little bit of I'm back. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Jurassic Park. As you can see, I can't. There's no face here today. Because certain legal reasons. There might be loose primates that I can't have any, you know, visual evidence of in my room. For those of you who are in chat, you will understand. But we're all good here. Trust me, there is no chimpanzee in my background. Anyway, I would like to tinker with my Exodia deck. Now, starting off here, we have the most reliable one, the Exodia Sky Striker. And, well, I kind of want to see if we can beef it up a little bit. And we haven't messed with it in a while. Well, we kind of messed with it when the Hornet drones got, well, disengaged, got limited, got slowed down. But we haven't really done much since then, or and we didn't do much before then. So, what are people thinking would be a good addition to this deck, or a good thing to take out? Because right now it's pretty sweet, um, but there's obviously many more things we can do. For one, there's that new Sky Striker card. Sky Striker. And it is the Kana. Let's see, this one can target one face-up monster your opponent controls and it cannot attack. Always good to slow down your opponent. I think I need at least one of those. So let's switch that out. I don't know if I need two Link Rebos, and I don't know if I need all of the Nightmares. But it's quite possible. Uh, I think I might actually want two Wee Witches here. So. And I've never... Well, have I brought out Skull Dread in here? I don't really know. I don't need a Romajar or Little D. You know what? Why did I even bother asking people? Why did I bother? <laughs> a Romajar is good for stalling. However, this deck isn't about stalling. It's about the draw power. I have the other Exodia deck, which is very much about stalling, and maybe we'll get to tinkering with a little bit of that today. Um, but are there any other Sky Striker new cards? I don't think there are. No. What's this one? Is this one that's just never used? Let's see. The Equip Monster cannot attack directly, so... And let's see. It can make a second attack on monsters. Yikes. Ooh, but if this uh, Equip Monster destroy... Wait. The Equip Monster destroys a monster with attack while I have three more spells in my graveyard. I draw a card. Ooh. Is that a new one? I feel like I would have considered that earlier. Let's throw one in. How about Graceful Charity? Well, I can't do Graceful Charity because, you know, there's a little thing called a ban list and it means I can't use it. Simple as that. Let's see. Three Allure, three Destiny Draw. You know, I don't think that would be the most efficient thing to do. I don't think so. Where's my face? Once again, I didn't take anything from the zoo stop asking huh final countdown yeah i really don't want this in this deck and let's see yeah so let's uh consider this in here let's just have the one copy what's something i can take out well i guess the answer of something i can always take out temporarily at the very least is upstart gum you know what i think i want to take out the curry bandit i haven't been seeing a lot of love from it lately and although it is a dark monster I don't see it. I don't think it's going to be there forever. So that's a possibility. But let's just run with 41 for now. We can make our decisions afterwards. Who would like to test? And if you have your own Exodia deck, I would love to see it. So I highly encourage if you would like to duel me, use an Exodia deck. Or use another goofy deck. Just, you know, obviously no stall decks, no meta decks. Because this certainly does have its weaknesses. One, two, three, four. Uh, nope, let's make the password Exodia. Wait, no, no, I joined some random guys. Alright, Exodia. Oh, wait, we, all, we do all lowercase. Exodia. Obliterate! Alright, and no, we definitely don't want Shard Agreed. It's decent, but it's not fast. So, single, yeah. Let's go! Sakurets and Armor, of course. Yeah. Not into a shard degree. Plus, it can be stopped. Hannah likes her bone. Can't, couldn't even finish it. Couldn't even finish it. Well, let's see what we can do. Spell absorption wouldn't be a terrible idea, but it's also not something that'll speed up the deck any. It just, like, potentially gives us some um, defenses. Alright. Let's see how this goes. I will go second to give me one extra turn to draw things. And, you know, we don't have any Sky Striker stuff to start up. But we'll see what comes out of this. 
can't exactly add more Sky Striker support because I kind of already got the main stuff. Ooh, well, this could be useful later, but we absolutely have no reason to play this now. So we'll start off by doing this. And honestly, I just said we might take the Curry Bandit out, but I think he's the answer for this this moment. That or the left leg. Yeah, I think I'm on a, I think I'm on a Curry Bandit. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get some cards in the grave. See what we can do here. And end my turn. Use the Curry Bandit. And, ooh, I like that. I like that. Oh, man, I'm going to ditch that. But, uh, oh, darn it. I'm putting head in the graveyard. That's a shame. That is a shame. Well, I guess either this or this would be great. I kind of already got this, so I'll grab this. Yeah, should have went for the leg, but that's in hindsight. So we lost a leg. That's a shame. We'll figure it out. Or we lost the head, rather. There's ways to get it back. Very few in this deck, but there's ways. Blue Eyes Exodia. I don't know if that'll... Well, Blue Eyes does have a lot of draw power, in fairness. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Alright, Black Metal Dragon on the Red Eyes Baby. So if I destroy that thing, it's going to be good. Oh! Okay, so let's see. Ah, this is happening no matter what. So, let's see. I guess... We'll pop up Obliterate. Do I want to activate the effect now? Because that will send Red Eyes Baby Dragon back to hand, but it's not like that's a huge... Actually, if I do send Red Eyes Baby Dragon back to hand, maybe that'll stop the stamping destruction. So let's find out. I think I'm still going to be stopped here, but I don't know. So let's send from the deck to the grave this. And I... Oh, I didn't get to keep Obliterate. I should have just went for the secondary effect. And she gets her Black Metal Dragon off. Not ideal. Oh, well. So be it. Wanted to find out if that would work. What about Time Lords? Time Lords could work with Exodia when it comes to stalling. But I don't like stalling. Especially when I make YouTube videos and streams. It just kind of, well, takes more time when we could be doing some cool stuff. Yeah, I don't know if it's so much about the generic cards in this deck. I feel like you'd need some, like, weird specific things. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Well, it does leave me with one choice here. How many spells do we have in the grave? One. There's one. Oh, fantastic. Uh, okay, so I can get all my pieces out with Treasure Panda. So let's do that, actually, so we can get the last Exodia piece in play. And let's do this. From the graveyard, we'll banish this and get this out. All right, all the Exodia pieces are in action now. However, I really want to use this spell book. But I might need to do a little more than that. So let's pop spell book on the arm. Then we got some more stuff for later. But for now, this is this. And that is a red eyes baby dragon. If I kill it, it's going to be bad for me. So let's just let it kill me. Because I think it has 100 more attack if I'm right. So we'll find out. Am I just going to be doing him? No, I'm doing whoever uh, hops in. Oh, so that's one way to do that regardless. Okay. And then this will just wait till we get one more Exodia piece to the grave. Tough part is I'm going to need to get my uh, Wee Witch out here, which means I need two Dark Monsters. Should have probably say. Uh, it's tough to say. If I could defend my Treasure Panda right now, I'd love to, but I cannot. I need Sky Striker moves. Yikes. Uh, yeah, we're not going to pop that, as I just said, until we get another one of these pieces in the grave. Because otherwise, we don't really gain a ton from it. We're going to take some life point damage here. Oh, man. This is rough. Hmm. Well, that's a nice... Well, I can only use it once, in fairness. Hmm. Do I even want to do this? Is the question. What do I get from this? Oh, I get Ray from this. That's what I... Yep, absolutely. Doing it. Done. And we'll use these pieces later. Or we might just not. We might just hold them in hand. Let's see. Destiny Hero Exodia. Yeah, I do want to kind of try that out, actually. But that would be a completely different direction. Uh-oh, what are we doing? Both players reveal their hands and... Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Huh. What can we do here? Oh, gosh. I lose <laughs> huh I can't do all this darn it yeah I could I could get one of these away but I couldn't get both 
All right. Well, a great gear for you. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. So we're going to have to win this by damage. Because that is a exchange? Was that in there just for me? Because that is a random. Now nah, I do it. Make me, make me work for this. Wow. Just wow. All right. I don't think this deck has a way to mess with my opponent's hand. That is annoying. Wow. That was good. That yeah, was good. Um, well, the version of Y GoPro I use is for a PC. But there might be other things. All right, so Sangin goes down. With that, we bring Ray to our hand, which means we can finally do Sky Striker plays. I might put a double Sangin in there, because that's one way to search Ray. I mean, obviously, I have a couple ways to get my Sky Striker plays going, but sometimes you just need that. What happened to my face cam? I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, so things are coming a little tight here. Things are coming a little tight. And, okay, so we got the engage here. That is beautiful to see because we got one spell, two spell. Oh, we need a third! Um, but we can do it if we Hayate. So we're going to have to Hayate here, which we should be able to. Um, or we could Kena. Well, no, we do have to Hayate, period. So let's go for that. The problem is this doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be in a great advantageous long-term position. Um, so let's just attack. I think I want to attack the Red-Eyes. Oh, no, then it's just going to Fang with Chain me, so let's attack directly. So let's go for that. Then Hayate is going to send something to Grave. That something something is going to be something very non-committal in this particular case. Let's go for Shark Cannon. Just want another spell in there. Because now we can mobilize and gauge. Boop, boop, boop. And pull out some pieces. Add to my hand. Well, I do, I would really love to get an Afterburner started up. So let's do that. Let's see. Draw a card. Yes, please. Okay. That's great. Fantastic. Hmm. All right. What's now? She's waiting on something. You watch both my YouTube channels? Wonderful. Thank you very much, Lizbeth. Pot of Avarice. Yeah, in certain situations, right? Do I have hand destruction? I do not in this deck. I'm actually not a fan of it. Uh-oh. She surrendered? I guess she might have had to go. I lost connection. <laughs> ha! I win. Hannah loses. I'm the best. All right. What are some people? Some things that people are suggesting? That game is over? I mean, I was about to get into some Sky Striker stuff and clear the field up a bit, but... Yeah, the Exodia plays weren't happening, so... You yeah, know. Yeah, I don't want Morphing Jar in this deck. I really don't. I mean, I could. Hmm. Yeah, it's just I use, like, my whole hand, so card destruction is really just a... You know, it's just a dead card, essentially. But I could. Let's see. Yeah, Exchange is the big problem. Right, we can try throwing the basics in here. The card destruction and the morphing jar. They are potentially useful. I think I had this in here at a certain point in testing, but I didn't like it. Yeah, it's earth and uh, rock, so I can't really do anything crazy with it. It's literally just for the flip effect. And my normal summons are pretty valuable in this. But, you know. Let's see. What are you saying, Exodius? I'm not a fan of him. Um, he's the one with the graveyard, right? Yeah, he must be special summoned by shuffling all monsters in my graveyard into the deck, which I love putting my monsters in graveyard into deck. And then when he declares an attack, I send one thing um, from the hand or deck to the graveyard. He gains attack after a while. Um, but, like, you need five turns of nothing happening to this guy, which is hard. It's really not easy to pull off. So, you know, I don't think I want to go for that. Because, yeah, all of the cards need to be sent to the graveyard by his effect. Of all the different things. Ugh. Yikes. And a magic jammer, perfect. That's a foolproof counter. As you see, we have a burial from different dimension to counter banishment when we need to. But, you know. 
So I had marshmallow. Okay, you guys. You guys are done. You guys are done. So let's see if we like those in here. Reload. Actually, that might be worth considering. Let's see. That's the one. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'd don't. i much rather card destruction than reload. Just because I like sending cards to the graveyard in this deck. Because it's both Sky Striker, get those spells in the grave. And it's Exodia, um, led by backup soldiers to get them back to hand. So that's what happens. Necros would be a completely different style of deck. But I do kind of want to make an Exodia Necros deck. Because uh, what's this one do? Um, da -da 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 -da. Destroy this card unless all five cards are in the graveyard for Exodia, the Forbidden One. Yeah, it's possible. But yes, it would be a very different deck. Um, so, you know, we'll consider that for now. But let's test out this deck at least one more time. And then we'll see what we want to do. So hosting, password Exodia. And no, Hannah, you had your chance. Give someone else a chance. <laughs> All right, Ketchup Bowl. Jeez, the names. They're fantastic. All right, Snip Snip. Looks like I'm probably going Foist. Well, it depends on what they're using. Oh, gosh. I don't like this. Yeah, you see, this is why I don't like Morphing Jar, because I hate putting the head in the graveyard when I can control it. Um, So, yeah, it's a little rough. And I'm not going to say destiny, Christian. Darn it, I just did. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, oh, no, it's the Karibos. It's the Karibos. I feel like Karibos not going to be the answer against this deck. But I don't know. Could be. I just, I'm not really going to do battle damage. Yeah, she most likely had me on the ropes. I was about to clear her field, but she still had plenty of cards. So it could have gone either way, really. Um, okay, so I have Day of Peace. That's nice. I have my Morphing Jar, but really I don't want it. Okay, so what we're going to probably do here is go for this. I'm probably... I don't like Morphing Jar in this deck. So we got that. Oh, why didn't... I meant to summon this card. What am I thinking? Oh, well. I got Day of Peace. And ooh, that's pleasant for later. And aside from that, we're done. Nice and simple. Yeah, I don't really need Foolish Burial in this. It only gets one card to Grave. I'd much rather just send cards to grave in bulk. Because I don't have a lot of ways to get them back, except the couple of spell cards I have. And definitely don't want Foolish Burial Goods. Although it's, like, decent in Sky Strikers, it's not really something I want to, you know, water down the deck. A fencing Fire Ferret. Yeah, that's a, that was definitely my one of my go-tos whenever I'm doing a themed fire deck. Alright, so we got a couple of, uh... Couple of nice things out here. They're gonna gain life points, but you know it's uh it's probably gonna go well for me. I mean he couldn't attack anyway, so I wouldn't worry too hard, man. And let's go for this what I kinda meant to do. And let's get ourselves a spell book of secrets. That'll get a full sky striker package into the graveyard. Or rather all the spells we'd need. Yeah. We could have done this last turn, but I misclicked. I think I just misplayed. I don't know if I misclicked. Never underestimate the left leg. I don't know, the left leg's the strong one. So we'll see. Um, let's get, yeah, you away, because you're dark type. Ooh, we have reasoning as well. So we can send more cards to the graveyard. You just joined the Discord? Nice. Awesome. Uh, uh, just one? Well, good. Good one. At least I served my purpose. I got another spell and an Exodia piece into the grave. Now, um, ooh, we don't have the, uh, yeah, that's, that Exodia piece there is a problem, you see. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm probably just going to need to trade this Exodia piece. Yeah, I'm going to get this Exodia piece out of here. So we can, uh, yeah, let's do that. That way we'll have a nice clear field for the Sky Striker plays. Oh, actually, no, I could just uh, obliterate myself. Well, I could have. Might as well do this now that I've already went into my battle phase. Save the obliteration. And now, engage. Um, I think I need to grab Hornet Drones if I want to make the plays happen, because I already normal summoned. So let's do that. And draw a card. Hey, that's pleasant. Uh, do I want to go for that, or do I just want to open up next turn? I like opening up in one turn, so let's go for that. Um, let's get the Hornet Drones. 
Now that's out there. And do we want to go for uh, Kana at all? If this card is special summon, I can target a face up and it cannot attack until the end of my opponent's turn. I am not concerned about that yet. So let's just go into the Kagari. Because we already used Battle Phase, so Hayate is not really necessary. We will send the Engage back to hand. And here is where we go into Shizuku. And we sit. We're just going to sit right here. And then we'll use three Engages next turn. That'll be fun, right? Let's see. Is it not, actually not worth running? Well, I'm running one because this deck also does need to stall a lot. I don't think it would be extremely good on offensive Sky Striker, but this is not offensive at all. So I think Kana would be useful in some situations here. It definitely seems like um, you would only run one copy in any Sky Striker deck, though, if you run it. Am I ready? I think so. Let's see what they got. We got a, a Karibo out there and a Neo Space Air Hummingbird. He's going to gain some life points. Pretty sweet. He's going to gain, what, 3,000 from this? Not bad, not bad. Oh, he's using Detonate. Destroy as many Karibos and Karibo tokens as they control. Then destroy the uh, cards your opponent controls up to the number of that. Sweet. Okay, let's see uh, how this goes down. So he's going to detonate his own Karibo. What's he going to destroy, though? There's one card I really don't want him to destroy. And, uh... That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Actually, no. Oh, no, it is perfectly fine, because I got three engages. Detonate has happened. Taking longer than a grinder golem combo, right? Let's see... So, I just took some damage. He just gained some health. He's in a good position out here. Um, now, I can do Treasure Panda to just get all the Exodia pieces into play here. Or I can um, do Obliterate to start getting more pieces into play. I don't think I want to spam Obliterate when I don't need to. And I don't have any cards to return Exodia pieces just yet. Once I get those, I'm pretty confident that we have the win. Like, I just need... W well, actually, I have a backup soldier. I think I can win next turn. What have I been on about? If he doesn't murder me right here, I win next turn. Because all we have to do is Treasure Panda, two Exodia pieces, Link Karibo one, obliterate the other back to hand. That would mean we would have three in Graveyard. Backup Soldier them to hand. Boom. We don't even need to use these triple engages. I mean, I could, though. How do I edit my play background? In the uh, YGO Pro folder, it's literally just an image. So you can uh, change the image to whatever you want. You can make it my face if you would like to. If you want to ruin your Yu-Gi-Oh forever. Oh, come on, catch up. End your turn, bro. Do something. I don't want to win twice like this. But yeah, I got a I got triple engages in hand. And just by Treasure Panda and these two cards on field, I have win. So, I think we're okay. So, let's see how this goes down. Um, okay. Might as well start up like this. Boop. After Boinas. Get the Humming Boy out of here. See if we can bait any... No crazy things out. Did Sao just call himself ugly? I am hideous. Oh, he's using the uh, Paths of Destiny. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Oh, well, well, that happened. Destroy a spell or trap? Sure. Well, that's, uh, that happened. Anyway, um, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's play uh, Mobilize and Gage. Let's just fill up our hand for the fun of it. Hey, look, I got a ray, so I can start up those plays. Hey, look, draw a card, sure, why not? Oh, look, Sangin. How about we play uh, Engage? Oh, look, I got a, you know, a Vector Blast. That's cool. Yeah, Vector Blast, fun. And draw a card. Oh, yeah, look at that. I got a, I got a reinforcement of the army. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, look, another ray. Fantastic, fantastic. And now what do we got now? What do we have? We have, I guess I can Vector Blast. Why not? There we go. Oh, look, I sent more spells into the graveyard. I should have one card I didn't really want to send there. But that's fine. How about we uh, we engage again? Yeah, engaging is fun. And we'll grab to the hand, I guess. I might... No, there's not really any point of getting this card. Let's get a backup Widow Anchor. And draw a card. Hey, nice, nice. Now, at this point, I could go into um, a Sky Striker play and get a fourth engage off. 
but and go for an attack and get the other card off but we're just gonna go for the win here so treasure panda we're gonna go ahead and banish one of those so we can get an arm out here and we're going to use treasure panda here and get this card out here boop -a boo we are going to obliterate one of my own pieces back to my own hand by sending the incarnate to the grave and we will now get this card into the grave flip up backup soldier and win the game I think I could have done that last turn, actually. But I was trying to get the Sky Striker plays off of. Boop -ba -da -boo. Do I do these duels versus viewers randomly? Yes, quite randomly. Um, there we go. Good duel. Alright, so immediately, I'm not liking the Morphing Jar. But I'll do another duel with this, and we'll find out. We'll see if we bump into the situation where it's just not wanting to use it again. Because simply when I... When I have the Exodia head in hand, I don't want to send it to Graveyard. Sometimes it has to happen inevitably, just to get like the game moving, but when I have the choice, I'm not going to make it. Okay, so we definitely have a Sky Striker startup this time. Ooh. But it looks like... It looks like he's going to slow me down a bit. Um, one thing we could do is we could go for the Jar. I think I may. Um, let's start off with the uh, Ray. And there's really not much I can do. So what I think I'm gonna do is just go straight into Shizuku, end my turn. And then we'll consider doing that next turn. Because Kagari's... Actually, I could have done that for Kagari and then just got it back. But whatever. You saw all good. Sometimes I use three Kagaris anyway. But then again, this is a kind of fast-paced deck. So most likely not the case. Let's just get the engage and then we'll quadruple engage next turn. I think I'll... No, I think I'm only going to double engage, triple engage next turn. But then there's still going to be one in the deck. How many obliterates do we have? I run three in my deck. It's that good. Because one, it gets my Exodia pieces to grave. Main goal of the deck. And two, it defends me. Secondary goal of the deck. So there we go. We don't even have to use one of the other pieces here. Um, I, hmm, If I use my one for one, I won't be able to do the other stuff. So do I just go for these right now? I think I'm going to do this in, into a vectored blast. Because I need more spells in Grave. Yeah, let's Vector Blast. So that's one. Let's Vector Blast. Alright, alright. That's definitely three. It's exactly three on the dot, though. Okay, so we're going to have to do the Engage here. And we will grab to hand. We already got a Ray on deck, so... Let's just get ourselves a... Um, probably don't need Hornet Drones, actually. Let's get the uh, Widow Anchor as a backup plan. And draw an extra card. Just like we wanted to. Hey, there's... It will be a four engage turn. Excellent. That was just some luck right there. I don't mind the luck. Um, so, let's get the... Hmm. Let's... Let's get that Hercules base. Because I might actually get to use it right here. Yeah. Let's try to draw a card. Hey, and we drew the afterburners. I actually didn't want to. Because we're going to be searching more. But that's okay. Let's get Kagari out here. And Kagari will use her effect to get the engage back to hand. And there, this will be the fourth engage of the turn on turn three. Very good, very good. And what's probably the last thing we want to engage to our hand? Um, I think probably Hornet Drones. Just because that's a really good backup plan. And draw a card. So you see right now it's another Morphing Jar, not so much situation. I could have popped it early on, but this was honestly a better play. So let's set that as a backup. Um, one for one. I can always one for one the Morphing Jar away. Um, let's see, I'm definitely going to want to kill that, so we're not going to use that. Um, honestly, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and equip Kagari here. Let's get this as a backup plan, and I think I'm going to attack. And, yeah. Not really any level 1s I'm trying to mess with here. We could get one Exodia piece out, but that's not a huge goal right now. So, so let's just chill. Let's just chill. Ooh, we're definitely going to use our normal summon on Curry Bandit. Absolutely. But let's battle with Kagari. Do that. 
Yeah, I am still liking Curry Bandit in the deck. That'll give me another draw. Ooh, do I have any spellcasters? I do not, but I could get one. I could get one. Then I'm just gonna fill my hand even further. Hmm. It's debatable, isn't it? Um, so that was the attack. I'm happy with it. And yeah, let's go for Curry. Oh, and then we'd have to use like every card in, uh, in our hand. Let's set that down because we know we're going to use it next turn. And... Oh, man. I have too many cards. That's our problem. All right, let's uh, go for the Curry Bandit. All right. And we're going to want to set down one more card. Uh, I can definitely one for one next turn if I'd like to, so... There we go. End turn. Curry Bandit go off so I can clear that middle zone. Hey! Send in Exodia pieces. Oh, there goes the head! Okay. Well, card destruction. Honestly, I am considering card destruction. It's not a terrible thing. Yeah, head is in the grave. It's definitely helpful. I can get around it. It's just hard. Ooh, Raid Raptors. I guess I could have figured that out earlier. Uh, what's he going to do? Let's find out. Let's let him do his thing. Yeah, because we can one for one, one dark monster out, and then get right out, and that'll be two. Yeah, let's just let these effects go off. If something banishes me, I'm just out. Use Morphing Jar. Yeah, it's viable. Well, I had to set down all my cards to make it viable, and I'm already going to be getting a Spellcaster out to utilize the knowledge. Um, but ooh, the nest is on the field. Ooh, he's not hitting my Kagari. That's unfortunate. So, what we're gonna do is... Wait, why can I... Oh yeah, because I can do it from hand. Is that worth it? Just to... No, I should filter through the deck a couple more times. Um, let's... What type are you? You're dark type? Uh, sounds good to me. So, are any of these dark type? I don't think so. I was hoping the new one was dark type, but it's not. So, how do I get rid of my Kagari is the question. Yikes. Hmm. I have no idea. Well, we're probably going to Widow Anchor just to get that off the field. Um, Because if I won for one, I won't be able to do that. So, yeah. We're just going to Widow Anchor the uh, Lanius. And honestly, I'll just take control of the target now, because that's okay. And then we'll activate the one for one. I'm going to send away the Morphing Jar, just because I already got the card destruction. So that's okay. Now I can spell book. And I can pull out um, the Magician of Prophecy, because why not? Uh, now, unfortunately, that's all, all I can do with that. So I won't be able to uh, use this on that. But we can get ourselves a noise. Oh, can I not get my, uh, why can I not get you out? Two dark monsters, and this is dark and dark. I have no idea why that's not working. Hmm. Cannot get my wee witch out here. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Let's panic. Let's panic. <laughs> Let's do this, actually. Then we'll get another Spellbook of Secrets. We'll Spellbook Acknowledge him out. Or, are we about to do this? I think I know what I'm gonna do and it's weird. Yeah, we're gonna Skull Dread. And now we can use that. Cool. Now what do we send him back? Let's send back, um, Reasoning, Shark Cannon. Absolutely want that. Um, guess I might as well send that back. And don't matter the sword order. And let's be done right there. Okay, kind of just panicking out here. Um, what else do I got? Let's see, so set this, set this. Let's just go for it, see what happens. Okay, it's not horrible. Might as well pop this out. Because all the pieces are in the grave right now. It's just going to be hard to get the other stuff out. So let's just chill right here. 
Might as well battle, right? That's a thing people do in Yu-Gi-Oh. There is no ape, guys. There's totally no orangutan or chimpanzee in my establishment at the moment. I don't know what you're worried about. And, yeah. There we go. Monster reincarnation wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just, usually I'm able to get the Wee Witch out there without too much issue. But this is the point in the duel where it's after turn six. That's usually, if I don't win by turn seven, I'm usually in a bad spot. Because we can absolutely get all Exodia pieces but the head right now. And that's the issue. Like, we need him to kill the Skull Dread if we want to get further. Um, Because it's not letting us get our Wee Witch out here for some reason. Okay. That's a cool thing to see. It's going to rank it up. Very nice. Incarnate would also work. Yeah, there's two ways. The Wee Witch or the Incarnate. And I don't think Incarnate was sent away. Uh, wait, yep, it was. Incarnate was indeed sent away. So let's see what he goes for. Unless he's cheating. We should kill the Skull Dread. There's no reason he wouldn't. So we should be okay. Yeah, and he gains extra damage, right? Yeah, he's fine. Look at that. Oh, he's do is he upgrading it again? That is something. I don't even know what's about to happen out here. Yep, so there goes Skull Dread. Invoke Sky Striker come to mind. Well, because Sky Striker works with any deck and Invoked works with any deck. It's kind of simple. Might as well upstart. Hey, Obliterate's never a bad thing to see. Alright, let's go for the Spellbook of Secrets. Just get that instead of it. Um, and we can absolutely Spellbook one of these Exodia pieces. Sure, why not? We're going all out here. Let's do it. Oh, I can't play this. Huh. Oh, it has to be a Spellbook card from hand, not just a Spellcaster. Okay. Um, let's see, I think Sangin's a dead card out here. But I think this works... Now, I could probably just fight him off with Sky Striker stuff. But I don't wanna. Let's get another Dark Monster out here. Let's go for... The Wee Witch. The weest of all witches. Let's go ahead and... Activate the Backup Soldier. Get these. Now, one would assume I can just kill it. And get what I need here. As I said, turn 7, this is the make or break. Hey, he knew it! <laughs> so he quit. Yeah, because the second we Witch attacked into his ultimate Falcon, I'd get the head back. So I win. See, like, I can still do it. It's just sometimes it's the harder part here. What's Obliterate worth if all the pieces are in the grave? Not a ton. Not a ton. Alright. Cool. But I get the pieces back, so often, like, literally had three cards in my hand to do it. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Morphin Jar, I think it's... Oh, man, it's tough. Because it, in concept, it's so good. It's just with the way this deck works. It's not. Um, Hercules Base, I'm not against. I might choose it over one of the other Sky Striker cards. Is there any other cards uh, you guys think I should uh, consider throwing in here? Exodia the Underdog, is that a thing? Oh, no, it's Heart of the Underdog. Oh, that's the kind of deck you're suggesting. Yeah, that's an option, but that's very luck-based. Like, running a Heart of the Underdog deck. Like, if you don't get the Heart of the Underdog, or if you don't have it proc when you need it to, you're kind of a sitting duck. So I, I much prefer to be able to play against my opponent than just, you know, hope that I get the OTK. Like, absolutely Heart of the Underdog Exodia deck has more of a chance of a one-turn Exodia kill. Absolutely. But this deck is way more consistent. Way more. Diabolos, I mean, since it's Sky Striker, it could, but once again, the power is not really what this deck's about. I don't see what I need a Swords of Revealing Light for. That would only stall, and Sky Striker by themselves stall well enough. Uh, replacing card destruction with hand destruction. That just sends it back to the deck, though, right? Also, something I don't want to do. Yeah, it's just one card, and it just. You get like plus one out of it by the end of the day, and it's... I like all the cards in the deck, so I'm not really going to use that too much. 
And I like the Curry Bandit. Curry Bandit did fantastic last time. Pretty good, at least. Like, he is, I guess, on the chopping block, all things considered. But, yeah. Let's put a reinc... I don't think I need the reincarnation. Like, we were fine that last time. We are fine. Uh, I don't think I need a malicious. Yeah, like... I don't see what I would gain off that except getting another uh, way to get... Oh, well, it would be a smarter way. Like, I think I would absolutely malicious over one of the other ways to get it back. Because the Wii Witch play still works. And malicious would help it work. I have other ways to do it, though. But malicious would be a decent way to do it. And I do send a lot of cards to Grave. No, no. I'm not throwing it in. Yeah, card, card, D, and magical mallet would just help with draw power. Which, this is more. this deck is more than that. And Armageddon Knight. I don't think I need Armageddon Knight because that's just going to... Yeah, like I need to normal summon him to get the effect off, right? Let's see. Yeah. Send a Dark Monster from deck to graveyard. Obviously, that gets Malicious into the graveyard. So this would be a combo to get my uh, Wee Witch out there. But at the same time, it's just a warrior. So if I don't have anything going at the time, it's not really going to help. Destiny draws just for Destiny stuff right yeah like if i run a destiny hero exodia deck that would be fully viable like that plus stratos not too shabby but you know that's fine i would need three yeah like i would need to run a lot of this in here i'm not against just having one of these in here just to because he's likely going to be sent to the graveyard i have a lot of ways to do that um so, oh, wait, no, this comes up from the deck. Yeah, I would need three. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't think it's malicious. I don't think malicious comes into play here. Jester was the answer. He's a free special summon of a dark monster. And he's a spellcaster. So, yeah, if I do need more support on that, I think Jester's the right way to go. Um, so, I'll throw him in here so you guys can see that a little bit. And I'll throw the burial in here just in case, you know, that comes out to play. But, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Yeah, you're right. It only works with two or more. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so let's try this out for now. Uh, you know, Jester is always a good card in this deck. Because Jester can be... Uh, it's a spellcaster, so we can use the you know spellbook engine on it. And it's dark monster, so we can get the Wee Witch out from it. So it's always nice to see. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Nightmare Phoenix, because I kind of like Cerberus better. Because it... Uh, what does it do? It targets and destroys it. Okay, they're both destruction. So really, uh, Unicorn's the only one I really like. Um, but I do want to put in a second Wee Witch just in case that stuff goes wrong. Because it really is an integral part of the deck. Like, only Wee Witch and Exodia Incarnate can get the head back. So, we'll sit right here. Alright, let's do another one. Yeah, so I guess we're mostly just going to be testing this deck out today. Um, but, since we're not seeing us going up against a lot of Exodia decks, how about... Oh no. No, we're not going against more Karibos. Please, please. I feel like I just instant win against Karibos. It's a thing. Um, but yeah, feel free to suggest uh, your Exodia deck in the Discord. I'd love to take a look at it because I want to try some different things. Because this is obviously the most you know consistent Exodia deck I've ever seen. The fact that it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with competitive decks is pretty insane. But you know, who keeps ringing a doorbell? I don't know, man. All right, so we got a reinforcement to get one spell to the grave and get our ray. We got Vector Blast. Oh, man, this is a decent Sky Striker startup, isn't it? Come on, one more spell in Grave. Or a bunch of spells in Grave. There goes the card destruction, but hey, it's another spell in Grave. It's all good. And now we can go for this. I think that's immediately what we want to go for. These cards won't be used until later, um, but we can absolutely Sky Striker start this up. All right. Use your effect to bring out... Do I want Hayate? I don't think I... No, I do need to get Hayate so I can get my engage. So let's get that going. Then we'll attack Kagari and finish it off. So, Hayate go in. Because I didn't get any engages here. Ew. I don't think I get my effect off either. Because that stops me. Uh, continue the battle? Sure. Yeah, I'll just attack directly. Because why not? Let's see. Oh boy, more Karibos going to Grave. At least I get Hayate off, which is all I really wanted to do. Perfect. I don't really care about the damage <laughs> at all. Alright, Kagari, come on out. We know what she's doing. She is going to get the engage back to hand. 
end, I think it's definitely going to be just Shizuku here. I'm not going to pop the engage. Yeah, because I'd much rather get more, more uses out of it coming up. All right, I can live with this. No, I forgot to hit Shizuku. I'm dumb. Oh, well. Think Red Eyes could go with Exodia? I don't think so. Yeah, I really don't see it. Oh, the Moon Mirror Shield with the <laughs> with the Karibos. That's cheeky. Yeah, it'll work. That'll definitely work. Fortunately, I still have Hornet Drones to set up my Sky Striker plates. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot to Shizuku here. Um, but Ray can come out, so. Hello. <laughs> Ancient Gears with Exodia. Okay, are we trolling now? Let's see, what were you thinking? Monster Reincarnation? It's because I have other ways. Because um, the only reason for Monster Reincarnation would be to grab the head from the graveyard. And that's not always a problem. It's definitely one of the challenges of the deck, but I wouldn't call it a problem. Like, so far, it's not been a reason we lost many times. We lose for other reasons. So let's do reasoning. Yeah, I want to know what they're going up against. Ooh, hell, I really actually didn't want that. Oh well, it looks like we're going to be playing this a little differently now, aren't we? Um, so let's activate this, switch it out for, let's just go straight Kagari. Um, oh man, that actually, no, that really slows us down. That is a shame. Do I even want to go Kagari because I'm not going to be able to get the engage back? Because I can't play engage. Nah, I really, let's get Kana out. There we go. Haha, <laughs> your Junkery, but won't be fighting next turn. Take that. Um, okay, so let's just start popping this off and let's get that out of here And we're gonna go for skull dread And we'll get that out of here because we don't need traps and grave And then we're just gonna be missing head so a sangin would be very pleasant Okay, we'll get that out of here All right, and let's go for a nice little skull dread. Uh, yeah, we'll leave a foot on the field. I'm okay with that. Skull dread, do your thing. All right, who are we sending out? Um, I'm probably, uh, yeah, I definitely don't need the Dark Factory Plus backup soldier, so let's send that back. Um, probably don't need the two backup soldiers. Uh, I might, though. Curry Bandit would be pleasant. Uh, Jester, I don't have anything to utilize with him, so let's do that. And Ray, I already have another way to mess with you, so let's send you back as well. Alright, boop a boo. Got a plus out of that. Nice. And then I suppose I could. Let's see. No, this has to be normal summon to pop off that effect. And I don't have the head in the graveyard yet, otherwise I would rush to uh get that going. Um but yeah. I guess we could go to battle phase and we could have gotten rid of the left leg if we just put it in attack mode. But I didn't think of it, so that's fine. Oh, we still do have normal summon. Sweet. Let's curry bandit. Alright, curry bandit. Let's see you do your thing. And I could just summon this as well, but there's really no gain from that. So let's just attack with this guy. Rawr. And we'll attack with this guy. Oh yeah, the Moon Mirror Shield. Oh well. That actually puts me in a really good position. So instead of going... Ah, no, I don't want to go into that just yet. Oh man, I could get myself into a really good position or I could back myself into a really rough position. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't do the Curry Bandit to uh, use that effect. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to go straight into a Wee Witch. Because why not? Why not? Alright, let's engage. Out of hope. That we'll get uh, what we need. Let's pull out a uh, Oh no, we already got a ray. So let's pull out a Widow Anchor, I suppose. Or we could just go for the Afterburners to get rid of that Moon Mirror Shield. Nah, I don't really care for the Moon Mirror Shield. It can do what it wants. So Widow Anchor is always a fun thing to do. Draw a card. Come on, head. Not quite. I uh, might as well pop this, though. It gets a spell into the graveyard. Plus, get some pieces back to hand. All right. And then we have our position here. So we're still looking for that head. We're still digging. We are still digging. And my turn. And this is one of the reasons why we put the second Wee Witch in our um, deck. So now we can just put it out there as a good play. 
rather than having it be the only backup plan. Um, what am I even going to get back? Uh, I guess I could get a Ray back. Yeah, it's really the only, only play. Which is decent. Or I could get the foot back, and then I just have to hard draw. Ooh. Got the Shacker Magician coming out. I'm assuming he's putting that on top. Yeah, he needs that. Okay, so it's a defensive play. Grarl coming out. Okay. Interesting choice. I think I can still just attack it and murder its face. So... I think I'm going to try that. Yeah. Why not? Because uh, I don't have a way to destroy my own Wee Witch. Otherwise, I totally would. I mean, I guess I could. If I put out a piece, then get that into that. And then I would discard and go into that. And then I could Hornet Drones. And... No, then I'd still have a... Uh... I was thinking about pulling out a Cerberus just to have it, but not a big use. So what does this thing do? Oh, yeah, it just cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, sure. Very good. So you're defending yourself. I'm fine right where I am. There is no monkey. It is an ape. I mean, there is no ape. It's not happening. Curry Band is an end of turn effect. Oh, yeah, that's why. I was thinking, oh, it's not working right now. But, yeah, of course it's an end of turn effect. Yeah. Sometimes we forget things. Okay. So now it looks like we are going to see the Wee Witch die, which is fine. That way I can get my Sky Striker plays back in action. And get a little bit of engage going to get some more draw power. Ooh, you're going to see some damage over there as well. However, I don't know if that stacks phenomenally with the Moon Mirror Shield. I'm anticipating 2,000 damage on your attack on the Wee Witch. Uh-oh, I'm anticipating some more. Uh-oh. Yeah, it only does your uh, original, so... Nothing crazy, and the Moon Mirror Shield's not going to help you right here. But I like your um your equip cards. They're fun. Oh, yeah, the Moon Mirror Shield actually helps me in that case. All right, let's uh, probably Curry Bandit back to hand, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't need the uh, other stuff. I have ways. <laughs> and there's another Ray right there. All right, in fact, do I want a Normal Summer Ray? No, I want to save Normal Summer for Curry Bandit. So, let's pop the Hornet Drones. Boop -a -boop. Out to the field you go. Let's get ourselves a nice juicy, uh... Probably just want to go straight for Kagari here. Yeah, I don't see any reason to Hayate. Actually, I do uh, to thin my deck out. Which I think I'll utilize here. So, let's add to my hand. Engage. I uh, might as well pop Engage now. So, we're on turn 8. So, this is going longer than I was than I usually hoped for. Um, ooh, this is this will be fun. I think I might as well do this. Actually, you will let me get a draw off, but that's only when I destroy a monster, and I'm not doing that with this loadout. So let's get the afterburners and just clear that. Um, oh wait, no, you can negate the activation of stuff. Yeah, so you're in a decent spot. Okay, okay. Let's get Hayate on the field, and yeah, let's go for an attack. Attack directly. Doesn't matter, just cuts the uh, damage. Continue, attack directly. Just to thin out the deck a little bit more. No mo no chant monsters have. There's no Exodia chant? That's disappointing. Uh, let's just send a Ray to the graveyard, because we know that can be helpful later. And we have, you know, another one in hand. Actually, that was probably a, uh, probably a bold play in hindsight. Um, so we could Curry Bandit, or we could Magician of Prophecy to get some more draws out here. Um, first of all, we'll Shizuku, because that'll definitely be the end game play here. Um, so, I kind of... I think I'm going to Magician of Prophecy, actually. Just because I'll thin... Well, they'll both thin the deck out, let's be honest. But I might need the Curry Bandit as a dark monster later on, so let's go for this. So that will... And they both... Okay, yeah, the Magician thins out a little less, but it's also more of a choice. I also get more drawn cards out of it. So, you yeah, know. One chant for an extra deck monster. It's for Quacking Dragon. Quack, quack. Alright, so that got me this. Let's go ahead and clear that so we can get all of our Sky Striker effects off. Hey, Day of Peace. 
Ooh, obliterate. I can force my head to the graveyard if I would like to. Um, I know I don't like to do that, but it's possible now. Um, so what do I want to do here? I think... Hmm. What do I want to do? Let's see. I think I would like to... Hmm. Yeah. Let's Widow Anchor. The Slacker. Because I think I can take care of this thing. It's there. It's going to negate the Widow Anchor. Fantastic. And now I'll have to burn this in. Just because I'm trying to use up some cards so I don't lose everything. Oh, it's more than once a turn. It's just materials. Okay. Yeah, you're okay then. Oh well. That's okay. And what else can I do here? I guess I'll set this. And that'll work out fine. And I think I want a Day of Peace. Just to get another card. No, then I'll have to discard if I Day of Peace. So it's not Day of Peace. Let's just chill. And end my turn. Yeah. Alright, and... Uh, oh, wait, I will have to discard regardless. Not that it's a bad thing. Um, we'll get the... I uh, guess the Hercules base. How much of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime have I watched? I guess, like, what... I watched Duelist Kingdom. You know? I watched that before. Uh, let's get the right arm into the grave. And I watched part of Battle City. No idea where I ended up in that. But yeah, it was just me watching as a kid, so it ended where it ended. Oh, you got the Wing Karibo level 9 on the field. Very nice. Spell cards that have been activated are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. Yikes. Alright, um, let's see if we can... Mm, I don't want to troll a little. Um, did I use um, Exodius yet? No, I didn't. So there's many ways I could win this. Like, honestly, taking my time is fine against Karibos. Uh, Shizuku's doing his thing. I kind of want to obliterate him. But, like, it's fine to lose Shizuku here. So let's just lose it. And then Ray comes back out. Ta-da! Oh, you got that 5,000 right now. Oh, it's the number of spell cards? Oh, and I facilitate that so hard. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is, now that I definitely have ways to make this work, yeah, I think I can win right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by obliterating, activating the effect. I think I can target this to get that Wing Karibo targeted, and we're going to send the head to the grave. Wait, no, I can't send the head to the grave. I'm a dummy. I need that Wing Karibo out there. All right, we'll send a hand to the grave. Um, but I kind of needed to send the head to the grave. Oh, wait, no, I, I need to... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, uh, let's go for Kagari. And I can get one more of these. All right. Yeah, I needed to keep that on the field to make the play I wanted to happen happen. All right, that's the last use of Engage, but it's also our last Kagari. Just draw the head. Nope. Uh, well, I can't use Engage anymore because I don't got anything left. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we got this. We got... I mean, I can... <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> what do I do here? I guess we Curry Bandit. I feel like if I just stall, I'm going to be fine, but... Huh. I guess I could just attack... Should we do that? Pretend to be smart and just attack? Uh, let's day of... Well, let's attack then, day of peace. Let's be a jerk. Alright. Then let's day of peace. And head. Nope. I mean, still good. Spell book. Get that. And, ooh, do I go for the... Uh, I'm going to go for the gamble. We're going to pop him out just to spellbook him. Because there's not much left in my deck. The chances are looking good that I'll bring out either Exodia or Incarnate. Really? Gosh, I don't need that. I don't need either of these. They're dead cards at this point. Oh, man. This is a yikes. 
I just need to draw it, and I don't want to send it to grave. I want to draw it. Okay. Okay. It is what it is. Um, do I just curry bandit? I don't know. I think I'm going to set curry bandit just to have him out there. But then again, I won't be able to use this stuff. I don't think I need to use that stuff. I'm fighting Karibos out here. It's, this isn't a hard duel. It's just I'm thinking about it too hard. Yeah, I'm out of this guy's striker cards. So not much of that. Yeah, it was a gamble to go for the Day of Peace plus the uh, other stuff, but you knew. Turn 10 with Exodia deck, right? It's it's really just because my opponent's playing Karibos. This would be a bad situation. They have both level 9 and 10 in hand. Yeah, like I didn't think that was going to get us in too tough a spot. And now we have a Sangin. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's do this. I think this works because it's being sent from field to graveyard. Yep, Sangin. And we get the head. Finally! <laughs> and backup soldier. There was so many cards in the deck. There was the Sangin. There was the... Exodia Incarnate, there was the uh, head. Oh man. Turn 12 to do that. I kind of want to do one more duel. Yeah, because we did start a little late, so let's do one more duel. GG. But yeah, look, we're undefeated with some Exodia. Then again, we fought Karibos twice. I don't think I should brag at all. We cannot, we cannot speak highly of ourselves right now with what we've been facing. How about a Gold Sarcophagus? It's situational. You know, usually I'd, I wouldn't need that. I want to be able to have cards that'll help me in multiple situations rather than just single situations. Because if I like already have a head, then that then that uh, sarcophagus will be a dead card, not dead card, but not as useful as other cards. Ooh, okay, not ideal here, but we do have this plus this. Starting with this and this, we're going to be able to facilitate pieces to the grave. Ooh, he's going with some of that black rose. And obviously, oh, Destrudel ends. Ooh, Destrudel and Glow Bulb hitting the field. Dark Rose Fairy coming out. Haven't seen that one too much. Okay, somebody's making some plays. Destrudel still unused in Grave. Leafeon doing his thing. Makes sense that Leafeon would be using the plants. So we see a Crystal Needle Fiber come out. Going to be able to get another thing out. I think Lola Bulb was already used, but that's the Red Rose plus White Rose. Like, we could see a Black Rose right now. Um, we do. And he just goes straight Black Rose. He doesn't go Moonlight, which is an interesting choice. Will he have another card he can bring back? Well, it looks like he has something. He can uh, send one stuff from deck to Graveyard. Oh, so he gets to switch some stuff around. Wow, that's a card. World Carrot Weight Champion. Never seen that guy in my life. But there he goes, he gets a White Rose Dragon. Are there level 11 plays in this deck? Um, I guess neither of them are tuners, so there wouldn't be. Um, but he gets the Frozen Roars again. Very nice. Sarcophagus has an emergency card. It's just, it just takes time. I, I'd i like the synergy of the deck. Alright. So now he gets the Moonlight out. So that's going to be... Well, actually, I guess I'm not going to special summon many level 5 or higher. It's just like Incarnate. That worries about that. Um, okay, there's the carrots. So he's got a decent opening play. He could go into... Um, okay, so he just leaves it with this. Interesting. Ooh, and he has a mirror force in there. Ooh, card destruction. Fun. Um, do I card destruction? Uh, I guess I might as well play the cards first because we have good things. So let's do that. Let's vector. Make him send some more cards to his grave. Then do I reasoning or do I just card destruction. I guess I want a reasoning. Okay, there goes the uh, Day of Peace and Morphing Jar. I didn't want to lose the Day of Peace, but that's okay. Reasoning. See what we can get out from here. I'd love to put an Exodia piece to the field. But we'll see. Yeah, of course he's smart. He chooses level one. Ooh. Well, we get this, but I mean, I guess that just means I don't have to Hayate to get that piece. Um, so that's fun. Let's go for the card destruction. Get two more cards. And yeah, we'll swap you out. Let's just go straight Kagari right now. Because. Because why not? And then Kagari pops its effect. Gets me back that engage. We're not looking fantastic just yet. But hopefully engage will set me up a little better. Ah, 
what do we even go for here? Do I take Moonlight and trade? I think I do. Yeah, it's Widow Anchor. I think that's the play. Draw another card. Big money, big money. Not bad. Um, of course, we could one for one and get Sangin out of here like so. But I could also just use Sangin, which is nice. I don't have any spellcasters to utilize. Um, I could if I use one for one on Sangin, then I could use Spellbook. I think I'm going to. Yeah, it seems like a decent shout. Um, because that would be three Exodia pieces in grave. Um, but I, I like that. I kind of after last game, I'm considering just holding on to Sangin for a little bit. I mean, I have this play for later if I would like to use it. So as well as that. So let's try to go for the uh, Widow Anchor, and let's take the Moonlight. Frozen Rose comes out. He trades it before I can touch it. Decent choice. And he gets a Predaplane to his hand. Decent option for him. Uh, now, do I go for Hayate? I don't think I have any reason to Hayate, so let's just uh, Kigari out the carrots. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think I just want to get the carrots out of here. Because <laughs> we know what will happen if I attack Needle Fiber, so. Um, actually, right now, it's too late for Needle Fiber, right? He needs to do it in the main phase. Um, no, or battle phase. So, do I want to give him the draw? Not really. Let's go for a uh, carrot. Just to clear something off the field. And now we'll go into Shizuku. Oh, darn it. I'm not going to be able to get what I wanted from Shizuku. I played uh, a little aggressive there, which I normally don't. Like, you never see me using the, uh, the engage right when I get it. But he did set himself up pretty nicely, so I had to do something, didn't I? And then this sets us up for some potential next turn, but it's going to be a little rough. So let's end it right there. Shizuku will still get the effect off. Um, it's just not going to be to get much. So since I, it's not going to be a quick play, let's just grab the afterburners because I can't put it on the field anyway. We're good. Chop the carrot and put it in a nice curry. Definitely a possibility. I might have just started having curry recently, but I like it. All right, so he's going to get to set himself up pretty nice. But, I mean, he's got needle fiber. He's got black rose. He's going to be able to do some stuff. And I honestly don't have anything to stop him. He might take me. He goes for the instant fusion, hurting his stuff more. But, honestly, all he has to do, depending on what he has in his deck, like, I know a play that'll work. It, Skulldred wasn't what I was thinking of. I was thinking if he had a Boral Sword, he wins. But Skulldred's decent, too. That'll open him up to more plays. So that's decent. Then he gets a special summon. Oh, Lone Fire Blossom. That's a good one. Um, what do you, Yeah, he's probably going to tribute himself. Oh, no, he can get the carrot back again. Okay. So he's looking okay, but I don't think I'm out. Oh, actually, yeah, that Destrudo hurts. Then he gets another level 7 out to the field. And how did I summon you earlier? Um, okay, I did use a ray, so we have a shot. But, G Willikers. So he has enough to make a level 7. He doesn't really want a Black Rose, because he has field dominance right now. He goes for the Black Rose, I'm assuming just for power. He's not going to kill. Okay, yeah, it's just for the power. Um, I'm guessing he didn't have another Moonlight. Or he just figured Moonlight wouldn't really be necessary here. Um, let's see, Ray. Yeah, we're going to pop it, and we're just going to get another Kagari out here. Ooh, you know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to try out that new one and slow him down a little bit. Obviously, Kagari would be decent and get me my piece back, but... Yeah, honestly, Kagari's just a better option. Hear me out. Like, I was thinking we could do this and go into the Akena, and then slow down an entire attack. But I'd much rather just take the life point damage and get my get my engage back. Like, I'll take the damage. It's fine. If I can switch this out right now, that'd be fantastic, but I know I can't. You really wish that you went second? Yeah, that would have been amazing for you with the Black Rose. Like, you're playing really well. You're making me fight for this. 
All right, we see a dragon shrine out there to get some more pieces to the graveyard. Assuming we're going to see a second Distrudo or something eventually. Or no, we just go straight for the Red Rose Dragon. Oh yeah, I guess it could be anything considering the deck. All right, so we're going to have to get a little cheeky cheeky here. I'll start off with the Afterburners. Let's get rid of Skull Dread. He's a link for. We don't want to mess with that. Destroy a spell or trap? No thanks. And now, <laughs> we're still in a bad spot, you know. Um, but I can go for the Sky Striker Mobilizing Gauge. And that will get me... Uh, can I fight these guys off yet? I don't think I can, man. And I've already burned my other play. Like a Shark Cannon. Shark Cannon would be decent, actually. Yeah. Oh, but it cannot attack, of course. Do we Eagle Booster? I think I have my Eagle Booster. <laughs> yeah, let's grab that. And really the draw right here is what we're hoping for. Jester. That definitely makes this option a whole lot easier. Okay. So now I don't have to one for one to do that. But I kind of still want to. Just to get another Exodia piece in, in the grave. Because we got two, but we need more. So, I think it's time to get the uh, Sky Striker plays moving. So let's horn it. And now we're going to do our final Kagari. Um, I guess just... I can always cane it right after Kagari, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> just because this is going to be our last wave of Sky Striker plays. Then we'll get engaged back. And yeah, once again, since it's last Kagari. Um, actually, do we have another engaging graveyard? Or do I want to save this? Ooh, I kind of want a Shizuku and get that back. Yeah, I really do. Um, so what can I do here? We're going to special summon you to get a spellcaster out here. Spellbook of Knowledge gets you out of here. That's another spell in the graveyard. <laughs> you see I'm trying to climb, right? If I do engage, then I'll be able to take him on. That's the thing. It's just iffy. No, I'd have to engage plus something else most likely. So I'm not going to. I'll be patient. We're going to be real patient here. We got this now, which is huge. And uh, yeah, we're just going to... We're going to play Stolly out here. Um, I guess. Oh, wait. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> forgot I had this. Yeah, I forgot that was an option. I could have, you know, fought off other than that, but this works too. Yeah, for those decks that burn yourself a lot, uh, you always put yourself in a risky position, so I can't in good conscience let him get away with that. So there's that. Obviously, we could have struggled a little bit more. We would have been able to protect ourselves between the uh, Obliterate and the Eagle Booster. And we had a double engage set up for next turn, plus Curry Bandit to field cards to Graveyard. Sangin to get the thing, but we just don't need a little bit more. It might have been another two turns before I could have won. But that's one way to do it. So thank you guys for watching this stream. If you have enjoyed it, of course, you know to leave a like. Um, let me know if you want to see any other specific decks I have juiced up in other streams. I really... Let's just take one more look at the deck. You were really hoping I forgot about that. I almost did. Um, I love the Jester in here. The Burial is only when I really need it. I don't love the Morphing Jar, but I'm okay with the card destruction. You know, I don't think I'm having him in there. I don't think I am. I kind of like the Hercules base. It's, you know, it's another Sky Striker card. So it's a potential. Um, Definitely want Double Treasure Pandas. Yeah, and then uh, Jester is one I took out temporarily before. But it's really just as good as Curry Bandit. So, I don't know. There's plenty of cards we could take out here. But I think we're just going to save this and worry about that later. Um, if you guys do have any cards you think I should take out, then shout them out now. And, uh, yeah. I've already kind of outroed here. I got to go record some videos with uh, Richie for some more duels. It's going to be fantastic. And we will see you all next time. Minecraft stream tomorrow? I have no idea. Farewell! You all are wonderful. But you lost! How's the zebra? My sister did say my car smelled like a zebra yesterday. That was weird.